In this video, we are going to talk about the next important step that is to do some self-learning. In order to do so, let's go to academy.uipath.com. So over here, this is UiPath's own learning platform where you can learn on your, yourself. Uh, it's a self-paced learning and I strongly recommend you guys go through it. Um, it is so simple that uh, you won't need any prior uh, knowledge or uh, coding knowledge and it has been and the trainer has taken into account for people who are not from uh, coding background so when you click on login or sign up so you basically put your the first email that you have created with your account while you have downloaded it so I'm going to enter that So once you do that, you will get that uh, the two consent. So, um, so obviously when you are doing it for your organization, so if you log in with your own organization ID, so your organization will automatically get notified. Uh, so many of you who want to do it for your organization, make sure that uh, you choose this button on. So you, when you, if you, if your path is affiliated with your organization, then your organization will know that you have completed uh, the courses and certifications. Click on confirm for me. Uh, it's like I am an individual blogger, so I don't need to. So uh, that's the first thing that you do. You will get is this page um, uh, where you get a welcome to the academy. So over here, uh, only the, the, there are multiple courses that are available for you. Uh, you can choose based on uh, on on your role. But I will say that uh, immediately go to the learning plans. The first that's the first step, and then. You start with RPA Developer Foundation. Okay, so there are multiple uh, courses, right? But I would say that for a beginner, uh, for anyone, for say if you're a project manager or a business analyst or anyone, go through this uh, course. You double click over here and you get start. Start. Uh, so this gives you an overview of what you what is expected. You can click on more info so that uh, you can you get to know what is expected. So this. The first one is to RPA developer role. It's an introduction and it talks about who are the who are the audience, the RPA developers, and the learning objectives. What you will uh, what you will be able to accomplish once you complete this course. And uh, these are very short courses. Like if you see the entire RPA for developer foundation is thirty nine hours. Uh, this is the entire course duration. Uh, there are some practice examples as well, and we'll show you how what how they look and what are the things that you can expect from them. Um, but uh, it's about a week's time if you are focused dedicated for a week uh, spend about three to four hours per day you can easily complete this uh, uh, this course and at the end of the course you will get a diploma of completion uh, which you can proudly display in your cubicle at home or show to your friends uh, it is very simple people do not get afraid of it it's, it's simple steps if you can complete it it, it gives you added advantage of knowing something new don't be afraid of uh, code or anything else now uh, once you have that done there are some certifications as well right so i'll just uh, some certifications where you can schedule your exam and uh, be a uipath certified professional so those 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 are the steps that you will check at the, at the later stages but uh, for the time being let's have a look at how what how does the course look like so um, i'll just click on start so over here uh, you will get to see the course what you what course details uh, what is its our learning objectives and then click on the start menu so there are two modules over here one is a feedback and the first one is uh, the, the the course material itself <coughs> So uh, once you do that, so you will see that this is the course overview, the RPA journey, uh, about RPA developer foundation, what it is about, welcome to RPA, meet the UI path platform, your first encounter. So these are the topics that will be talked about, okay? Uh, so you can start your course from here and then you will be taken into this path where it's, 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 it's quite simple and self-explanatory. Uh, um, and you will get to see so for example this is a very important so what are the things rpf developer foundation course what are the things that you should be able to expect out of it and uh, what are the things that you can learn and then once you complete this what are the next steps so you can go and go and do a rpf developer advanced training once you complete this um, i would recommend that you go through for the for these first and then venture into it because too much of information can be overwhelming in the beginning and there is also an RP continuous uh, learning. 
right um, and over here as we are speaking about it there are certain things that we will do and i'll put that another video so ui path connect is a platform through which you can connect to a community who has people who uh, who has created uh, codes and then uh, you can use those codes for your own project and it's a community uh, coding platform just imagine it's like widget or a jitter repository um, then there's a forum uh, where there are questions and answers that you can answer about it and there's a marketplace uh, from where you can uh, download uh, uh, platforms and projects and UiPath Academy which we are top which we are going through right now okay um, so that's all that's all it is about and then we will talk more about it later